Hello everybody. Today's system test is going to be different than normal. Uh, not only is this system test going to be abnormally loud, because I have a Spectre Advanced installed, but also I will be using smoke detector spray to test the smoke detector. I've never done that in the past, but the reason why it's going to be really different is that I'm going to look at the chamber value of the detector, which you can do on addressable systems. Okay. Uh, I believe the chamber value should, it's a number that should increase as smoke, or in this case, as this smoke spray builds up in the detector, or maybe decrease. I don't know, it's different per system. So we're going to go to read status mode. We're going to go to, let me see if we can... I think we have to go to device. System point. We're going to go to detector. I believe its number is. Uh, I'm going to try a number here. Nope, that's not the correct one. That is the correct one. So this is the. <clears throat> Photoelectric smoke detector was built in with a built-in thermal sensor and it's in the rear of the room in the back over here. And so showing the zone and ID number. Uh, Alright, the chamber value. See right there the chamber value? Got a little bit of dust. Uh 1347. Okay. Um I don't know, with some notifier panels. It's, a, it's usually lower than 100, and once it gets to 100, it goes into alarm as smoke builds up in there. I'm not sure how it is for fire systems, so we're going to test it. And then let me show you the alarms before we do this. We have nothing over here, nothing right here. We have the usual addressable smoke detector. We have the monitor module. When we come down here, we're going to have the same simplex T-bar. Over here, we have same detector. And a special advance. This has no tape over it. It's on low volume. It's just the natural sounds can make. It's going to be loud in the video, so you might want to turn down your volume. Nothing here because this pulse station is addressable by itself. There's no need for monitor module. And we have our enunciator, which is showing what the chamber value is displayed from the control panel. So let's head back over here and test this smoke detector. Okay, this does have a, a zone out period, a timeout. It'll eventually go away, I believe. So. I'm going to go and do this before it times out. So right now it's at 1347. Okay. So let's go and take a look at this. 1347. See if it raises or lowers. I can smell that. Smells weird. That is loud. So we have a silence in the system, and it's showing the photoelectric heat detector in the rear zone. I actually was not paying attention to the chamber value that much. I was expecting it to take longer than it did. So maybe if we can rewind the video and look at it, maybe we can see what it was. I have no idea if it went up or down. Um, I looked in the, uh, the manual for this online, and it didn't really say much about the chamber value, except that it will like send out a trouble if the chamber value is too low. I think the chamber value is the sensitivity level of it. So let's go over here and look at the alarm, which is the Spectral Advance. You guys heard how loud that was, right? It's crazy. And by the way, this is a high candela strobe. Uh, I'm going to go and silence it with the... Uh, no, it, uh, it's already silenced. Okay. It's doing uh, selective silence. Maybe I'll reset it with the enunciator and show you the candela rating. I don't think we'll have time to because I don't want this video to drag on forever. But I do, need to let the, I do need to let the smoke detector air out. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a trouble. If I can... I can't reach that. Okay. Um, let me get some paper to wave this. I didn't think this through. What, what I'm going to do is after I air this out, I'm going to... Reset it, and then we'll look at the chamber value to see if it's changed. Because over time, as you spray anything to these smoke detectors, including detector spray, it kind of wears out the chamber, the detector chamber, and it can just be a little weaker. So, I mean, it won't do it a lot, 
but like over 10 years, if you're spraying stuff in there, like every few months, it will have a big impact on it. Okay, while well, it's finishing airing out, I, I want to come back over here, and I I've been hearing this, but I'm going to stop talking just a second, and I'll bring you closer to the alarm, and you'll hear it clicking and a high-pitched noise buzzing with every strobe flash. Pretty cool. Probably because it's a high candela strobe. That's my only spectral advanced strobe, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back on there. The smoke detector should be done airing out now. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reset. I'll zoom this out so you can see the lamp test. Yeah, it takes a few seconds to initialize. Just a uh, tip if you guys ever use this smoke detector spray, uh, there's instructions on the back, you should follow those. Um, but the main point when using this is do not get it close to the detector. It's better to be far away than close to it because this can kind of decay the housing on the smoke detector along with the electronics, which is more important. Um, so just make sure you do it at least a foot away. I think I did it about a foot away. I, sh I should have probably done it more, but just do one or two sprays and then let it kind of go through there. If, if you're constantly spraying at it, um, it, it will just kind of wear it down because it will the the fumes or whatever you want to call it, the aerosol will eventually get in the chamber and set the alarm off. But if you think it doesn't because it's taking a while, just wait. Don't keep spraying in there. Okay, so we're gonna go to programming now. Hopefully, this detector won't go back into alarm. We're gonna go to read status. We're gonna go to system point. Let me zoom this in for you guys. Okay, where's my finger? Okay, we're gonna go to detector. It was 0 .001 last time I remember. Okay, we're gonna go back to chamber value. 1348, ooh, look at that, I went up by one. Okay, I'm gonna show you the chamber value for the, oops, that was for the front one. I believe that's two. Okay, this one's for the, f oh, rear zone, that's weird. Okay, hold on. I'll try one, I think that's a pull station. Wait, showing all of them as, that's weird, showing all of them as the same detector. Okay, that, okay, that's strange. Um, oh, duh, because I had it, I forgot in the menu I was just in, it was detector, okay, that makes sense now. So, uh, yeah, this is the front one over there. And this chamber value is thirteen forty seven. Huh, that's the same when the last one was. I wonder if I was looking at the wrong point. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.